Hey scholars, good to be back with you. This is the second in a series of videos on an introduction to MathCAD. In this video I'd like to help you out with plotting. Now MathCAD's pretty good at plotting and if you can define a function generally you can plot it. You can do 2D plots and 3D plots including surface and contour plots and uh, it's pretty straightforward. So let's get started. Let's go to my computer and let's do some plotting. All right, here we are in MathCAD and ready to try out some plotting. To start, we're going to need a function. Well, here's one I made up that looks pretty good. It'll suit our purposes pretty well. So there's f of x, and then I'm going to hit colon, full colon, gives me that colon equals. That's the equal sign that MathCAD uses uh, when I want to tell it something, when I want to make an assignment. So I'm going to do this. There's sine x, and I'm going to divide that by x squared, which would be OK, except if x is 0, that's going to be 0. So that's not going to work. Let me add 1 to it. All right, so that's defined everywhere, and it has a nice smooth curve. Now, let's do a 2D plot, an xy plot. There's a couple ways to do it. I can go to the graph toolbar, and I can select it there if I like. I can go to insert, hit graph and just hit that or I can use this uh, shortcut the ampersand sign now or the I'm sorry the at sign now or I can use this the at sign now why they pick that I don't know there's a finite number of keys on the keyboard somebody picked that a long time ago and it works fine so I'm just gonna go to my keyboard hit the at command that button there right above the two and I've got this now this is a ready to go here all I gotta do is fill in a couple of these boxes and there's six boxes to fill in. That right there in the middle, that's where I put the x. That's where my independent variable goes. Here I'll put f of x. That's the dependent variable. Then these boxes here uh, are the x range. And that box right there is the vertical range, the f of x range. Or I guess we, we naturally call that the y range. Well, let's do this. Let's put an x there. There's f of x there, my dependent variable. And it'll fill these other boxes in for me. The default on MathCAD is that x goes from minus 10 to plus 10, unless you tell it something else. And it calculates the vertical range to be whatever it needs. So there's that. Let's resize this. I'll grab that. There, now it takes up more of the screen. Now you can see this is a little blocky here. This is a leftover that's in uh, version 15. I don't think Prime does that. We'll uh, do some Prime videos later. Let's change the, the vertical range. Now it goes from minus 6 to plus 6 uh, to include its calculated maximum and minimum, which it gives you there, minus 0.437 to plus 0.437. Let's change this. Let's go from minus 1. I click that, just hit my uh, backspace. Go to 1. There. That looks pretty good. Let's see. Maybe it would be nice to have some grid lines. So I'm going to double click on the plot. And there it is. There's the the parameter window here, or formatting window. I'll just turn on some grid lines here and hit apply. Now I'm not a big fan of those green lines. I like, I like this light gray. I'm going to use that. And hit apply again. So now I can see it. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so just say OK, and there it is. Now, if I want to change x, I can. The x range, let's go from minus 5 to plus 5. So there's that. So it's very easy to reformat this. I can move it around as I want to. I can resize it if I want to. Okay. Let's say I want to show also the derivative of this, but maybe I want to show it on a different uh, vertical scale. What I can do is enable secondary y-axis right there, and now I've got a second one over here. Well, how about this? Let's put the derivative right in there. There. So there's the red is the uh, function and the blue dotted line. Maybe let's make that a solid line. Go to traces and right there it's a dotted line. I'll make that a solid line. There. Now we've got a problem here. The tick marks on our second y-axis don't match the ones on our first y-axis. So let's maybe go here 
and let's just force it. Let's make this go from minus 1 to 1. Okay, that looks all right. Well, let's do this. There's no point in having a second y-axis if I don't use a different scale. So let's go 0, minus 0 0.5 to, whoops, to 1.5. That way I'll have the same number. There we go. Now everything lines up. That's a pretty well formatted plot. That looks pretty good. Now I can put a title on here if I like too. Go to traces and I can label my traces function and I can say derivative derivative there we go now uh, the legend is hidden let me turn that off and then this maybe put it on the top left there we go now that looks a little better now you can tell what the two uh, traces are on the plot so there we go that's a 2d plot I like that. Let's do a 3D plot now. I need another function. and I'm, Here's a function I made up. Sine x plus sine y. Now, I want to have those both in the numerator and have a denominator. Well, right now, if I hit divide, I'm really only dividing by uh, this, dividing the second term. That's not good. So I'm going to hit the space bar once and twice. So now I've uh, outlined or highlighted, whatever you call that, both terms. When I hit the divide or the, the slash, now I've got a, a denominator with both of those in the numerator. And by the way, the way I'm getting these, the uh, superscript is I'm just hitting the up arrow over the six key. Now again, I don't want, oops, there we go. I'm just hitting the space bar to, to, to uh, highlight different parts of the function there. I don't want this to ever be 0, so I'm going to put a 1 in the denominator there. There we go. Now, what I need now is a 3D plot. Let's do a contour plot to start. Go to Insert, Graph, and do a contour plot. And all I have to do right now is hit F and do that. So that's what it looks like. Well, I don't know guys, that's pretty rough. Let's see if we can fix this up a little bit. Number one, let's go to appearance. It would be nice if it was color. Let's apply that. Now the colors actually mean something. Um, let's see, axes. Maybe we can draw some lines. And again, don't like that icky green. The Y axis, draw lines. Also not the icky green. There, now I've got a grid, so I this I can actually figure out where I am on this. Now, those are pretty rough. It doesn't look like there's enough points used to calculate uh, the contour lines. So I'm going to go over here to Quick Plot Data. This is this is uh, defines the X range and the Y range, and the number of grids you want to calculate to make the contour plot. So there's that. That looks a little better. Last thing. It would be nice if I had more contours. Now, why they buried this under special, I don't know. But there it is. There's auto contour. It was, it was guessing. The default here is 15 if I want to uh, define my own uh, number of contours. Hmm, there's more. Let's make it 25. OK, maybe 50. Hmm, that's interesting. Now see, it's still a little rough in there. It would be nice if I had more points. Let's back off on this a little bit. Let's maybe go to 30, go to Quick Plot. Instead of 40, let's make 75. The biggest number you can put in here for number of grids is 99. There. That looks a lot better. All right. So there's a nice contour plot. Let's say I want a surface plot. Well, I can do that. There's two ways to do it. One is to go up here and make it a surface plot. The other way to do it is I can go here and under general I can just flip that switch and turn it into a surface plot. Let's do this. Let's put this over here. Right click. Right click and copy. Go over here and hit paste. So now I've got two plots that have the are identical. Let's make this one the surface plot. 
Okay, there, that's what it looks like now. That's not bad. One thing I want to do though, in appearance, I want to hide some lines. That's a little rough looking at that. There we go. Not bad. So there's the surface plot. It would be nice if I knew which one of those is X and which one of them was Y. So let's go to axes. Label. And I'll just call this X axis. And I'll call this Y axis. Let's do that. There we go. There. No, whoops. There we go. That's not bad. So now I know which one is X and Y. Okay, that's not bad at all. And of course these can be copied and you know just when I do that right click and copy I can paste this into a Word file or anything else like you can with any other Windows app. So there you are. There's 2D and 3D plots. We've done a contour plot over here and a surface plot. Hope that helps and we'll talk to you next time.